guys, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Shanae and today we're going to be filming some 90s inspired makeup. I'm super excited to be filming this because obviously the 90s was like the best time. And for today's 90s inspired makeup look, I am going to use the matte bar and this is what it looks like. I love the colors in this. I can't wait to try it out. So I'm thinking for today's look, I want to head towards the 90s supermodel inspired makeup because you could also do like 90s grunge. But I'm thinking I wanna do something really beautiful today. The visible um, lip liner that they all had, a really kind of smoky brown eye, smoky liner. And yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do before we get started. Don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline channel. Make sure you thumbs up the video and also comment down below. As usual, I'm going to start off with my eye makeup. I like doing it this way because I just feel like I can be as messy as I want and then clean it up later. To begin, I'm going to take my Master Conceal Concealer and this one is in the color 10 Fair. I haven't done an all matte eye in a while, so I'm really looking forward to doing this eye look today. And I do have like a birthday party to go to later on tonight so I think this look will go really well so now we're going to take our beautiful the matte bar palette I think I might start off with this light shade here it's kind of got that peachy tone so I'm just going to press it into the crease we're going to slowly build up this eye look as you can see you can See it there even though it looks so light in the palette. Today's look is going to be quite rounded and very blended so I'm not going to do any sharp eyeshadow wings today. I might do a wing liner but we want to keep this edge really soft and smoky. So far this shadow is blending out beautifully. Love the colour. I'm not having any issues with it so far. So taking the same brush I was using, I'm going to dip into this light creamy colour and I'm just going to dust this along the edge of that shadow, so on my brow bone, just to really smooth out that edge there. It'll just kind of make it melt all together. I'm going to continue deepening up this look. I'm going to dip into this shade now with the same brush. I'm just going to kind of follow the same shape. I'm going to go out a corner and then I'm going to go a little bit on the inner corner. I'm not going to bring this in as far. I'm just going to do like the outer V of the eye. From now on with this eye look, most of the shadow is going to be focused on the outer corner. So now I'm going to take a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to mix these two shades together. So these two shades are definitely cooler than the ones that I was using and these ones I'm going to really push into this outer V. I want to make this crease area really defined. Make sure you really push that shade into the lash line on the outer corner. So matte makeup is pretty universal. I feel like you can wear it anywhere, anytime. So basically shimmer catches the light, it brings everything forward and then matte usually will bring everything back. So if you're really after that definition and you're getting photos done, I would highly recommend you do use matte shades. That's why a lot of makeup artists like to use matte shades, especially in the crease because they want to create that definition. But yeah, every time I want to do like photo friendly makeup, I like to do a matte eye. I find it just shows up a lot better. I've never been like a whole shimmer eye kind of girl anyway though. You would know from my other videos, the only time I put shimmer on my eye is kind of like around here on the lid space and the brow bone. So I almost forgot to tell you guys as well, if you are someone who has more mature skin, whether it be on your face or on your eyes, if you're someone who is a bit self-conscious of texture or lines on the face, um, using matte makeup will hide that a lot better than using dewy and shimmery products. Every time I do makeup on someone with more mature skin on their eyes, I like to use more matte shadows because I can really create that depth in the eye without highlighting, I guess, you know, the lines and wrinkles on the eyes because everyone gets older and that's just a part of life. But regardless of what I'm saying, like whatever you like doing with your makeup, do it. If it makes you happy and it makes you feel beautiful, do it. Like you don't have to listen to everyone's rules. I like to give tips and tricks, but you know, at the end of the day, if you love doing something a certain way, then 
you do it. So see how I've used that dark shade on the outer corner. I've really blended it out. It almost lifts my eye up a bit without it being harsh. I will bring these shades though on the lower lash line. So the reason I did bring those warmer shades in earlier is because I do have lighter eyes and they just make my eyes stand out a lot more. I'm going to go back in with that creamy shade and I'm going to put this on the inner corner and kind of the center of the lid and just blend it together with the other shades. And for eyeliner, I've got this tattoo liner and this one's in the color bold brown. I'm going to try and do some like smoky liner today. I'm also going to tight line my eyes with this and bring it down onto the waterline. I'm going to go into a small brush and I'm going to pat that over the liner and just kind of like really smoke it out. As I get to the edge here, I'm just going to try and blend this into the crease. So this is what I've got so far for my eye look. I am going to put the falsies and scar on now. I know the look isn't very structured. It's quite messy, um, very smoky, but that's kind of what I was going for. I wanted it to look like I didn't try and maybe I rolled out of bed a little bit. But I can assure you once it is completed and I have all my makeup on, it's going to look a lot more put together. Okay, so starting off my face makeup, I'm going to use my Superstay Face Primer and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And then I'm going to take my Dream Satin Liquid Foundation and this one's in the color 23 True Beige. I'm just going to buff this in with a synthetic brush. And then I end up going in with another foundation, which is my Superstay Foundation. And this one's in the color Warm Honey and I'm just using this to warm up the outer perimeters of my face. So now I'm going to conceal. I'm going to use my Adri Wines Concealer. And this one is in the color Light Pale. I accidentally got too much of it out, so I'm going to take it straight onto my sponge. I always do that. I feel like that's brightened up the under eye really nicely. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and just on my forehead here. So to set everything in place, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And this one's in the color 10 Fair. I'm only going to use this one under my eyes though, just because it is a little light. And I'm just going to take this on a small brush and just pat it underneath. I'm also going to bake my smile lines because I crease here like all the time. So this is something I can't skip in my makeup routine. And now we can dust off that bake. So now I'm going to use my Master Contour Palette and I'm going to bring a bit of shape back to my face. I'm going to take this shade here. And I noticed with a lot of like 90s supermodels, their bronzer or contour is quite visible. And I feel like it's not as high up. Like I feel like... It's a little bit lower. I kind of do mine quite similar already anyway. If you Google 90s supermodel makeup, you will see their bronzer is very visible, like on the side of their face. I don't think contouring was really that big back then. It was just more like bronzing up. And taking the same palette, I am going to take the blush and just pop that on my cheeks. This is something that hasn't really changed. I feel like the 90s trend has come back and like a lot of 90s things are in and on trend at the moment. So I don't think highlight was really a thing back then. So I'm going to use this one out of the palette just because it is a little bit less intense than the Master Chrome. I say that, but now it like looks blinding already. <laughs> just for like a really subtle glow. I'm going to finish off the mascara on my lower lashes. So now I'm going to quickly do my brows. I'm going to use my Brow Precise Pencil. And this one is in the color Soft Brown. Hey. 
And to hold my brows in place, I'm going to use my Brow Precise Fiber Filler. This one is in the color Soft Brown. I'm just going to use this to make my brows really fluffy. So all we've got to do now is lips and I'm going to do the very popular visible lip liner trend that was in the 90s. I actually still really love this trend and I do it today. I know some people don't like it, but I love it. So I'm hoping this liquid lip won't be too dark. I've got the Superstay Matte Ink Lip and this one's in the color Amazonian. I'm going to use this as a lip liner today. And once I put it down, I'm going to blend it out with a small brush. So I've got that down. Now I'm going to go in with the Superstay Matte Ink Lip in the color Loyalist. I might go in with a bit of concealer as well afterwards. And I've just lightly blended those edges together. I'm also going to take a bit of concealer just to lighten it up a little bit more. I'm a supermodel now, I have a mole on my face. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun using the matte bar today. It's really beautiful. I love how this eye makeup has turned out. Also, before you guys go, don't forget to comment down below and let us know what kind of videos you wanna see. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.